Yeah, I have to admit, it's, it's been tricky for us. Um, we're, we're ourselves out of Jakarta, and we've been trying to get uh, our national, our international staff to Palu. We just managed to get them there, the first team there this morning, but it was very tricky because we kept on getting on flights, and then they were cancelled, or uh, they weren't going actually to Palu in the end. We were looking at sending them to our teams to nearby airports, but then we were looking at large time, uh, quite a several hours through ground travel in the vehicle, and we weren't sure how long that would take. But thankfully, we managed to get them on the ground today. Uh, just explain to me how you managed to, to get them on the ground there. Honestly, through, I mean, a lot of uh, working at the airport with the, the various airlines to trying to figure out who is actually operating and who can get flights into Palu. OK, brilliant. Uh, we know that there are enormous amounts of, of aid agencies descending on uh, the region day by day. Uh, how do you work to try and coordinate between yourselves? Well, in Indonesia, I mean, the government is really trying to take the lead to make sure there's a, like a systematic approach. So there's what there's this ASEAN Coordination Center for Humanitarian Assistance, and they're asking that all the, the INGOs and the local NGOs uh, register there what uh, assistance they can provide, and then they will give approval for, for activities to take place. So this is a, a clear way that we can make sure there's, there's a coordinated response. So the government has already also listed uh, what support they are looking for. They're particularly looking for water and sanitation needs, uh, family tents, uh, looking at how they can uh, environmental management to uh, prevent the spread of diseases such as malaria, etc. Uh, and of course, this is only the beginning of an enormous uh, rescue effort. How long do you envisage being on the ground there? Uh, initially, we're looking for our first round of projects, probably for six months, but then uh, phasing more into a longer term uh, recovery and livelihood recovery programs. I mean, certainly the, these communities here will need a, a long term response in order to get uh, their, their lives back on track.